Alrighty, today's lesson is going to be over scatter plots. This is coming from Chapter 9, Lesson 1. First off, let's look at some examples of what scatter plots might look like. If you're looking at the three kind of bigger graphs on the screen right now, you're noticing that it includes a bunch of dots, okay? With scatter plots, you're not necessarily going to see a straight line. Um, you might see that it either goes negatively or positively, um, but you're not necessarily gonna see um, points that are gonna fit really nice and neat on a given line. So if we look at example number one, you're gonna kind of see that it is a negative association. So those points are going downward. Uh, graph for example number two, um, looking at old faithful eruptions, that would be a positive. Those points are all going up. Okay. Um, for graph number three, that's a positive correlation or a positive um, association. Graph number four, this is a negative. And if you look at graph number five, there is absolutely no association. Those given points are found um, at various points, none of them are going positive, none of them are going negative. There's just no association between all of those points. So when we're looking at scatter plots, a scatter plot shows a relationship between two variables or pair of numerical observations. So for instance, television ratings. So in season one, we can say there was 31.7 million viewers. However, in season six, there was only 22.1 million viewers. So we can look at the data and say, well, season one did very well. Season six, obviously we dropped. Should we continue it? Should we continue with the season seven or should we just drop the TV show in general? When we are working with scatter plots, we're going to graph them as ordered pairs on a coordinate plane. So this example here is using the data from the table up above. Alrighty, let's look at example number one. Construct a scatter plot of the weight of an alligator at various times after hatching. Let's look at our table. Okay, on our table we have a column labeled weeks and we have a column labeled weight. Okay, so if we, we remember this is like a t-chart. We have x, our x column, and then we have our y column. Okay, this is basically an ordered pair, so 0 comma 6. 9, 8.6, and so forth. Okay, so I just need to plot these as an ordered pair. Now, looking at our graph, we need a label. On my x axis, I'm going to label this weeks. And on my y axis, I'm going to label this weight in pounds. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just start plotting my points 0, 6. I'm going to go to the right 0 and up 6. I'm going to go to the right 9 and up 8.6. Again, estimate to your best knowledge. I'm going to go to the right 18 and up 10. I'm going to go to the right 27 and up 13.6. I'm going to go to the right 34 and up 15. I'm going to go to the right 43 and up 17.2. I'm going to go to the right 49 and up 19.8. Okay. Again, my direction says construct a scatter plot of the weight of an alligator at various times after hatching. You've completed example number one. With this, you can see the longer the um, the further along the alligator gets. So uh, the alligator is at zero weeks, so right when it was born, it was six pounds. However, 49 weeks later, it was up to 19.8 pounds. It's one way that we can look at um, interpreting the data on the graph. All right, some additional vocab words that we kind of need to look at. Okay, variable association. So first off, you will need to be able to tell me, do you have a positive association? So notice how the, the points on this graph are going upward. Do you have a negative association where the points on this data are going downward or no association where these points are plotted in various different points? There's no association. It's not going up and it's not going down. Okay, so there's no pattern. Next thing we're going to look at is if it's a linear association. So remember, linear means it's a line. So does it form or quote unquote, does it kind of look like it's going to form a straight line? 
Okay, so with that first one, yes, but this next one, you kind of conceive you'd have to do a, a curve to it, so that would be a nonlinear. Two other important vocab words, cluster and outlier. Okay, cluster would simply mean that the data is grouped closely together. So think about when people congregate, when people meet, you form a, a cluster of people. Okay, an outlier just simply means that the data point lies outside the other, vari the other values, so whether it's uh, much higher or much lower. Um, so it's kind of on the outside of the given data points. Let's look at example number two. It says interpret the scatter plot of the data for the time elapsed and temperature of water based on the shape of the distribution. So there's three big things I want you to tell me. Okay, what do you notice as the time increases? Okay, so first thing we would write down as time increases the temperature of the water decreases that's my first thing next thing you tell me is this a positive association or is this a negative association as i'm looking at my points um, as the time goes on the temperature is dropping so this is a negative association okay last thing we need to say do you have any clusters or do you have any outliers? In this one, there's no uh, data points where they're all clumped together and there's no data points where it's either higher or lower. So simply we would write no outliers, no clusters. And that is it. You've taken the time to interpret the scatter plot. Okay, let's look at example three. Interpret the scatter plot shown for the men's Olympic 100 meter freestyle swim winning times. If the association exists, make a conjecture about the winning time in the 2016 Olympics. Okay, first things first. Is this a positive or a negative association? This one is a negative association as we notice that our times are going down. Okay, so our times are going down. Okay, now when we say this, though, when we're saying time is going down, actually, they're just getting faster. So in 1960, the winning time was about 55 seconds. But in 2008, the winning time was about 47 seconds. So yeah, time is going down, but these swimmers are actually getting faster. So this is a negative association. Okay. This one here, do we have any clusters? Do we have any outliers? And again, we have no clusters and we have no outliers. Meaning none of our data points clump together and none of our data points are like way out there. Now, an example of an outlier, we could say in 2000. <coughs> 2012 the winning time was 58 this would be known as an outlier okay now again that point is not on it i'm just kind of showing you an example of what an outlier would look like now let's finish answering this question it says if an association exists make a conjecture about the winning time in the 2016 olympics so conjecture I have to come up with some educated answer about what I think or where I think the 2016 winner will be at. So 2016 is going to be way over here. If it's a negative association, I'm going to say it's going to slowly decrease again. Okay, and I might say 2016, the time is going to be about 45 seconds. Okay, based on the trend that I see, I definitely know in 2016 the time is not going to increase. It is definitely going to decrease. It is going to get faster. So let's do a quick re recap. Scatter plots. They show the relationship between two variables or pair of numerical observations. So think TV show, the number of series, and the number of viewers. This is graphed as an ordered pair on a coordinate plane. You can have a variable association. So when you're sitting here and having to describe it, tell me, is there a positive association? Is there a negative association? Is there no association? Linear association, tell me, 
Does this form a linear, a straight line association, or a nonlinear, a curved line association? And then you tell me, is there a cluster or is there, or is there an outlier? If there is a cluster, just state uh, between 2000 and 2004, most people were born at five o'clock in the morning. Okay, or an outlier, it would be in 2012, the uh, winning time was 58, like I showed you on that last slide.